Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten VHS Tales. But before we get started, what are we drinking? We're drinking Count Bocula. <laughs> traditional German Bach. He's all pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all can't fly, like turn yeah, into the yeah. bat or anything. Kind of half turns <laughs> into a bat, <laughs> then just passes out. Today we're gonna be talking about uh, a non-horror movie entry, oh. Mel Brooks's Life Stinks, which is kind of like a forgotten Mel Brooks movie. It never yeah. gets mentioned in the same breath as like you know. Young Frankenstein and Blazing Saddles. No one ever talks about Life Stinks. <laughs> and it's actually a pretty fun movie. So much so that we played it as kids. <laughs> now, to fill you in, the plot is that uh, Mel Brooks is this big millionaire businessman. And it's between him and like a rival businessman who want the same piece of land that's all like, slum. You can last a week living like these people live. He's like, yes, I could. And suddenly it turns into a legit bet. And if Mel Brooks's character can do it, then he gets that land. So the movie's about him basically living like a bum. You feel like a bum when you watch it too, right? You yeah. get to live in kind of the the sort of squalor in the back lanes yeah. and the cardboard boxes yeah. like yeah. he does, yeah. right? For some reason for us, it was kind of like adventurous and fun. We would go out and dress like <laughs> bums as a kid and like wander around the neighborhood and like pretended to be a homeless. <laughs> what kind of game is that? How can it's that be fun? Stupid. <laughs> Don't ask me where yeah. we ever got the idea for that shit. I was in my Kung Fu The Legend Continues phase and you know, uh, Kane and Kung Fu is kind of a vagrant himself. He's got that flute, and I had some flute strapped to my back <laughs> like Kane from Kung Fu. <laughs> uh, were those rags? I wore these, like, my parents had some torn up jacket. It was all in the garbage and everything, and I all took it. It was that gray one with those woolen arms on it. Remember <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Took that, and it was all, where's it was all ripped to shreds? <laughs> now that we think about it, it's like, what the hell were we doing? Out of all the games to play. Play life. Let's play, let's play the bum game. It was kind of fun. But the movie is pretty charming, actually. A lot of good characters in Life Stinks. Yeah, oh, the characters are the, the, the hallmark of the movie. Like, Sailor? Oh, Sailor, yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, poor Sailor. Yeah. Like, you, know, you know, when he's all dying and yeah. coughing yeah. and everything. And, aw. Oh, you feel yeah. for, for all of them, right? There's a big rainstorm and all the kind of cardboard boxes that everyone lives in is being washed down the street. There goes the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because literally, literally, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> oh, and that's one of those movies you, I taped off a TV. The <laughs> editing for the swears is like so bad. Like I always remember the, you son of a bitch. But the edited version is, you son of a begunch. <laughs> <laughs> they got it in the middle yeah, like, of the word. <laughs> They try, I guess they try to put gun <laughs> in the middle of bitch, and it, it's neither, it's just begunch. Yeah, it's all <laughs> terrible. What kid would you know nowadays that would want to tape a Mel Brooks movie off a TV, right? <laughs> yeah. If you remember Life Stinks and kind of like not think it's an underrated comedy like we do, let us know. And if you, yeah. if you played bum too, let us know in the comments. And until next time, keep drinking.